The Biden administration has rejected a military proposal to send American civilians to Ukraine to service Western military equipment, including F-16 fighter jets, the Wall Street Journal reported. Previously, the U.S. National Security Council considered sending specialists to Ukraine, but the intelligence community recommended abandoning this idea, citing the fact that in the current conditions it could be dangerous. The intelligence community has expressed concern about the prospect of Russia trying to kill American contractors in Ukraine. The Wall Street Journal quotes one official as saying, According to experts, maintenance of combat aircraft could be one of the decisive moments for the defense of Ukraine. It is assumed that this mission could be carried out by Kyiv's European allies. It should be noted that one of the high-ranking Dutch officers has already confirmed that Amsterdam will pay for the contract between the civilian company and the Ukrainian Air Force, which provides for the maintenance of the aircraft. Earlier, it became known that during a massive missile attack on August the 26th, Ukraine lost one of the F-16 fighters that the West had previously given to it. The general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine confirmed the loss of the aircraft and the death of the pilot. It was later reported that the crash could have been related to so-called friendly fire. The fighter was allegedly shot down by a Patriot anti-aircraft missile system. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has dismissed Air Force Commander Mykola Oleshchuk days after the crash of an F-16 fighter jet. The New York Times, citing a Western official briefed on the preliminary investigation into the crash, said there were indications that the plane was shot down by friendly fire from a Patriot missile battery, although mechanical failure and pilot error have not been ruled out. The dismissal of Air Force Commander Lieutenant General Oleshchuk was the second high-profile dismissal this year. In February, Zelensky dismissed Ukraine's top military leader, General Valery Zaluzny, replacing him with General Alexander Sirsky. Zelensky did not give a specific reason for the decision, which came a day after Ukraine announced the loss of the F-16, but said military leadership needed to be strengthened. We need to become stronger, and we need to take care of the people. Take care of the personnel. Take care of all our soldiers, he said. The successful counter-offensive of the Defense Forces of Ukraine on the territory of the Kursk region of the Russian Federation is gaining momentum. This pushed the President Vladimir Putin to a new unexpected decision. He ordered that the Russian fighters from the Bears private military company who are in Africa immediately arrive in Kursk, according to Le Monde media outlet. So the Kremlin is moving its forces from Africa to the Kursk region to stop the offensive of the defense forces of Ukraine. According to the data of French journalists, militants of the Bear private military company who are linked to the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation arrived in the capital of Ouagadougou in Africa several months ago. We are talking about 100 Russian mercenaries. All this time, they were guarding a number of key figures, including the head of the junta, Captain Ibrahim Traore. However, the situation changed dramatically when Ukrainian forces broke into the Kursk region. The soldiers of the Russian Federation have not yet been able to stop and dislodge them. That is why the authorities of the Russian Federation decided to involve the fighters of the Bears, private military company in the defense of Ukraine. They are already packing their bags. The official reason for their departure, just three months after their arrival, is participation in Russian defense efforts against the offensive of the Ukrainian army, which began on August the 6th in the Kursk region, writes Le Monde. According to the French journalists, they have already received official confirmation from the commander of the Bear Brigade, Viktor Yemoleev, that he is withdrawing his fighters from Africa. He also added that all Russian soldiers forget their problems and unite to fight the enemy. On August the 27th, a statement was published in the Telegram channel of Russian mercenaries in which it is said that in connection with recent events, the brigade is returning to Crimea, where the private military company is based. It is also worth noting that the management of Vedmedi PCM denies any connection with the Russian Defense Ministry. However, there is evidence of contacts with some of its leaders. In particular, on April the 5th, 2023, Yunus Bek Yevrukov, the Deputy Minister of Defense of Russia, who currently oversees the Kremlin's entire military presence on the African continent, personally visited the Perevalny camp in occupied Crimea to offer his support.